Guys, bye. Stay bye. <laughs> Courses that we've been doing here for the last week and a half, I've had a lot of people coming from that more intuitive side. A lot of physiotherapists who want the evidence base um, coming down on things, also trainers. And I wanted to, the first fascial research conference where we brought together real, you know, laboratory researchers with practitioners. The uh, researchers had a bit of a nose up about the practitioners because you don't, you know, you're not doing things on a scientific basis. You are not going according to an evidence base. And I got a chance to sit on a panel at the end and I said, I really respect this upper thing there that he's got on a slide. But understand that you have a luxury that I don't have. You can eliminate all the extraneous variables. In fact, you must eliminate all the extraneous variables in order to have something that you can say scientifically. I don't have that luxury. I am in my practice room juggling a hundred different variables. The person's sociology, their psychology, their mood, how many coffees they've had, what their body is really going to take, their age and where the tissue is going to go. I've got a hundred things that I cannot afford not to pay attention to and you can afford not to pay attention to. So I respect your science, science being a word for a particular way of sharing. I ask you to respect that we in the gym, in our practice rooms, are juggling a lot of variables that we all have to, as Ian says, the gut is very good at juggling compared to the knowing mind. It's <laughs>